If you had to guess what this is, you probably wouldn't say it's a nanofiber made from fish skins. But that's exactly what it is, a nanofiber tissue that dissolves completely, delivering collagen deep inside the skin. And testing has shown it can reduce facial wrinkles by more than 30%. We'll get to that, but first we need to start here, with fresh fish caught by Sanford, New Zealand's biggest and oldest seafood company. Well, at Sanford we're trying to be the best seafood company that we can be, or the best seafood company in the world is our ultimate goal, and this is part of a drive to utilise as much of the raw materials as we have available to us, part of a, a wider extracts program. Yeah, science is a big part of what we're trying to do at Sanford now, uh, particularly trying to utilise uh, our fish stocks uh, better and in a more sustainable manner. So that's taking a lot of our waste and byproducts um, and putting them to better use. The process of putting them to better use starts here. This is plant and food in Nelson, where scientists have developed the technology to extract the collagen from the fish skins. Collagen is a structural protein. 30% of our dry body weight is collagen. So our bones, our tendons, it's in the liquid in your eye, it's in the discs in your back, it's the extracellular matrix that all the cells are in. So it's a very important protein in the body. The collagen then heads to Revolution Fibres, where the next bit of magic happens. So we create nanofibres by putting a polymer, in this case collagen, into a high voltage field. And the fibre collects uh, from one side to the other. That nanofibre is then spun into the face masks you see here. Revolution Fibres thinks these will be a revolution in skincare. Nanofibres uh, have a unique structure in that they are very, very thin. Um, they are able to hold in them uh, a number of other substances, natural extracts that can be included in the formulation. It's the first application method of its type like this. We've been uh, working closely with Otago University, School of Medicine, to track how our fibres dissolve and penetrate the skin. And what we're seeing uh, is very deep, uh, long-lasting penetration of the active ingredients, as well as the collagen. The technology has the potential to do more than just fight wrinkles. It should soon have medical applications too. Our aim by 2020 is to have a medical product on the market. We believe it's got a lot of potential in drug delivery, anything from burns to treating acne, to treating skin lesions and diabetic ulcers. So it's got a huge amount of potential. Revolution Fibre's face masks are about to launch into Asia. From there, its home market in New Zealand will follow. Sanford will be partnering with Revolution Fibres all the way. Well, I'd, I'd like to think of Sanford as our knight in shining armour, if you like. They really came to us when we were in quite a bind. We needed a big scale up, there wasn't the market there, so we needed a company that could share the vision of where this technology could go. They took the R&D and they turned it into a manufacturing process very quickly, very professionally, and they've just been great partners.